So how we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once again. It is a crisp Monday morning. It's about 30 degrees. Pretty windy as well. So I got the face guard up protecting my face. First things first, congratulations to the Eagles. Congratulations all you Eagles fans on winning your first Super Bowl. It pains me to say that because I am a diehard Giants fan. Uh, but number one, it's always good to see a team get their first ever championship. And number two as well, you beat Tom Brady and the Patriots. So it was a fantastic game. Back and forth all the way. Had you sitting at the edge of your seats the whole way. Great game overall. So lately I've been putting out a lot of videos talking about my equipment, talking about my mindset, talking about my traveling, you know, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, putting the final preparations on my through hike. I always have to remember that I'm going out there to not only enjoy the hike, enjoy the experience, enjoy the challenge, but at the same time, I'm out there to have some fun, enjoy myself, uh, and, and really take it all in. So I figured I'd get out here. I was gonna go for a day hike anyway. So it'd be a great time to do a video and to talk about some of the things that I'm looking forward to on my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, everybody, so how we doing? Ooh, it is a crisp, crisp morning. Wind certainly is not helping things. Oh boy, but always good to be out here on a hike regardless. So back to the point of this whole video, talking about some of the things that I am really looking forward to on my upcoming through hike. And then towards the end of the video, I figured what I do as well is not, not necessarily things that I'm not looking forward to, but things that I am trying to avoid while I'm out there. I think that'll be a good, good little thing to touch on. So things that I'm really looking forward to. Number one, the sights, you know, not just being able to have the opportunity to go through some of those popular, uh, some of the most popular and beautiful national parks that our country has to offer, um, but also just some of the overlooks, some of the different weather, um, you know, just some of the sights and the sounds and things like that that I'm going to be able to experience um, is something that is really high up on my list of what I'm looking forward to. And, and you know, like everything, all the animals, you know, like I actually kind of hope that I have some bear encounters. I hope that I uh, am able to see a moose out in the wild for once. Um, you know, little things like that. Obviously, I hope that I'm always safe and things like that. I hope I see those things at a safe distance. But I would like to be able to experience those things. You know, it's, it's the thrill of the experience, the thrill of the adventure, the thrill of the unknown. Um, you know, all that stuff I'm really looking forward to. And then, of course, not just the sights that I'm going to have out in the woods, uh, out in the wild, but also, you know, some of the historical places that I'm going to get to pass through and also see, you know, some of the different historical battlegrounds, some of the war monuments, um, just, you know, some of the different lands and, and different national monuments and that we have up and down the East Coast um, and be able to walk through those things and see them firsthand and just to be able to experience some of the history, I mean, just old buildings and things like that, just just really, really cool. Uh, something I'm definitely looking forward to. Get you guys plenty of pictures, take videos of them as well, and take you guys along for the ride. So number one, some of the sights, some of the experiences, that's something that I'm really looking forward to. Number two on that list, the people. You know, I'm really looking forward to meeting so many different people out there and hearing from their experiences and hearing why they are through hiking. Um, even just to meet some different section hikers and be able to share some stories with them and, you know, just meet the really nice people along the way who um, really take care of through hikers, who supply trail magic, who let people stay in their houses, um, who pick people up and give people rides. You know, all those people who are really part of that beautiful culture that the Appalachian Trail has created. You know, certainly it's great that I'm going with a really good friend of mine to provide some good moral support and, you know, to always keep things changed up, provide a good sense of humor and some tough times as well for me. Um, but especially being able to meet some new people, create some new relationships and new friendships while I'm out there, that'll be so long lasting. Um, so it's gonna be a really cool experience. I've already met a number of people on the trail who I still keep in touch with today whether it be on Instagram or Facebook. I mean, I text and I text a number of people, email a number of people. Just been a lot, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward 
to adding up on top of that. The third thing that I'm really looking forward to, and this kind of goes back to as to why I'm through hiking the Appalachian Trail, but I'm really looking forward to the challenges that it's gonna present for me out there and how I'm gonna be able to adapt and overcome those challenges, uh, not, just to, not just to get through them, but to thrive through them. Um, you know, I've been in some pretty hairy situations with crazy thunderstorms, crazy rain and wind. I've been through snowstorms. I've been through freezing rain coming down sideways. I've been through a ton of different stuff. I've been in 100 degree heat with 100% humidity. I've been in 10 degrees with like a 20 degree wind chill. <laughs> um, like, oh my goodness. So, I mean, I've been through it all. Now, certainly I've always had that fallback plan to where I can always get myself off the trail very quickly. I can just call friends or family and have them come pick me up. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. Either A, I'm just gonna to have to hunker down. Fernando and I are just gonna to have to hunker down, do what we can. Or B, we're just gonna to have to keep hiking through whatever weather, through whatever temperature, through day or through night, to be able to get to the nearest town and get ourselves to safety. Um, you know, and kind of do what we have to do from there. So especially paying attention to the weather long term, paying attention to the weather more specifically day by day and hour by hour as well, um, is something that I'm gonna have to get used to a little bit. So definitely just all the challenges I'm gonna have to experience, all the adversity, the days where I feel like I just wanna quit. You know, I'm looking forward to persevering through those things, coming out on top because I know how good of a feeling it is when you're huffing and puffing, you feel like giving up because you just keep on going uphill. Then you get up to this gorgeous overlook, just 360 degree views, and you realize why you do this. It reminds you why you continue to do that. That's the person who you are, it's the person who you were meant to be. And it feels good. The fourth thing that I'm really looking forward to while I'm out there are some of the amazing town stops and some of the amenities in some of those towns. So especially going into some of the historical towns with some of the famous hostels and hotels, some of the different famous events that people are always talking about, the Half Pint Challenge, little things like that. That's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Fernando and I as well both love local breweries, so we're both really looking forward to stopping into some of the famous breweries, um, especially going in from state to state some of the local cities and trying out some of the local craft beer and things, you know, local IPAs, the whole nine yards. Um, we love doing that stuff. So that's another thing that we're really looking forward to. So we're coming up on a section of the trail where it's right along the road. So it's going to be super loud. Probably not even going to be able to hear me. Let me put you away for a minute. Let me continue on. Let me get through the section and then we'll get on to the fifth and final thing that I'm really looking forward to while I'm out on the trail. It's an important one to me, it's a big one. I saved it just for last for a reason. So we'll go ahead and talk about it in just a minute. Talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. beautiful day thus far. I love hiking on cool days. You don't sweat. It's great. You can just crank out the miles. Oh man, I love it. So back to, back to the topic at hand. The last and final reason that I'm really, really looking forward to through hiking the Appalachian Trail, number five, is 
the freedom. Now, I know you're going to get that answer a lot, but especially for me specifically, um, you know, I'm going to enjoy this in a number of different reasons. Of course, you always uh, hear the reason, you know, the freedom of being able to do your own thing, hike at your own pace. Nobody ha you're not obligated to anyone or anything. Um, and you, know, you can kind of really just work on your own schedule. You know, really, really nice. It's something that you really don't get to do in everyday life. And so for five months, five to six months of just complete and utter freedom, beautiful. But especially for me specifically, I'm sure those of you who've been following me for a while have seen whenever I go backpacking, I'm always really detailed with where I'm going, what time I'm going to be there, how many miles that I have to do, all that stuff. I'm always, always detailed. I always try to get in at specific times and stuff like that as well. Um, I'm just very, very detail oriented making sure I'm just always on point with my trip planning. But those are really section hikes where you kind of have to be a little bit more on schedule. But that's also just who I am as a person. I'm just always on point, always very, very detailed. I have to know what's going on at that point in time, what's gonna happen in the future. Like I just need to know that information. It drives me nuts sometimes. So for me, having five to six months, just to be able to kind of let that stuff go and really just be able to hike at the pace that I want to. You know, if I decide to finally pull up for camp in the middle of the afternoon or at nine o'clock at night, I can do that kind of stuff. You know, certainly I still have to stay uh, a little bit on a schedule or routine, uh, just in regards to keeping up with the weather as well as resupply stops. But other than that, I can just kind of hike my hike as they say it. Um, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to. Um, you know, I'm still going to try to be, you know, I'm still going to be me and try to be on schedule and detail oriented as I, as I possibly can. And I'm doing it a lot in my preparation. But I also notice that in my preparation, I do, I catch myself kind of overthinking it a little bit. I've been doing this for a long time. I do this for a living working at REI. I teach all of this. You know, obviously a long distance trip is something a little bit different than a week, two weeks, three weeks, so on and so forth. But looking forward to it so and then from there you know there's a couple things that it's not that i'm not looking forward to these things it's just i would like to try to avoid some of these things as best as i possibly can and it's no offense to anybody out there who's on the trail again i really look forward to meeting so many different people and making some great friends but at the same time you know we go backpacking to find that solitude to find that quietness um to really you know, be on our own and get in touch with our get in touch with ourselves a little bit. And so I will be trying to avoid some of the crowds as much as possible. Now, I know, especially early on, that's going to be next to impossible, but I'm going to do my part and try my best to try to avoid the big crowds as best as I possibly can. Now, if that means little things like tenting on the outskirts of where everybody else is or, you know, finding more of a stealth camp away from the main shelter site, so be it. You know, as long as I'm practicing my leave no trace principles, I'm getting my quiet time at night and things like that, I'll be happy. But and then of course, you know, secondly, something that I like to avoid, and that kind of goes along with the crowds, is I'm trying to avoid garbage. <laughs> Every time I go out backpacking, I always see garbage littered around. Um, and especially as someone who works at REI, I do this, I've been doing this for a long time. I've always, always tried to practice my leave no trace principles. You know, Fernando and I have done our part. We've we've picked up trash around campsites, around shelter sites, and hauled it out in our own packs. We do what we can. Um, but it's something that I'm hoping that I'm trying to avoid as best as possible. And if I have to pack out some garbage, I'll do, what I, I'll do my part, and I'll do what I have to do. So there you have it, guys. There are my five favorite things that I'm looking forward to on my through hike and just a couple little things that I'm hoping to avoid along the way as well. Leave me some of your thoughts down below. For those of you who have through hiked before, you know, certainly if you have some information for me on how to avoid a couple of those things, I surely would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for following along on another great video. Be sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos coming out. Don't forget to check out the links in my description as well. Hit that like button, hit that share button. Leave me a comment or a question down below. I will catch you guys on the next video. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.